welcome back. Today, I am excited to finally make over an area of my living room that I just haven't been able to figure out what to do with since we moved into the house. There's this one wall that is very 70s inspired and I could never figure out what to do with it. Every time I tried to decorate it, it looked cluttered. But I think I have an idea and I think I know how I want to take it out of the 70s and give it a modern, fresh, farmhouse style look. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. Welcome to my weird living room wall. So the very first thing that I want to do is just put a nice fresh coat of white paint over the wall. Then I'm gonna use a Sharpie faux shiplap technique over top of the white paint. All right, so the wall is white. Next thing I wanna do is give this a faux weathered wood type look. So to do that, I'm going to use some chip brushes and chalk paint. I have Mineral by Waverly and plaster. And I'm just gonna use a dry brush technique on here to make it look like wood. So I'm just using a dry brush, no water, and I wanna roughly mix these colors together and have just a lot of different texture. So I'm gonna start with the mineral, kind of brush that on. I also decided to blend in some khaki colored paint from Apple Barrel in order to warm up the shade. So, this is not finished, but I want to let that dry for a little bit before I add another layer. I don't want to lose all of the little brush strokes in there. Once the first coat was dry, I just went back over it again with the same technique and kept blending till I got the shade that I liked. To give my barn wood a bit of a whitewashed look, I went ahead and ever so lightly brushed a very thin layer of white paint over the previous layer after it had dried. And the wood look is finished. It actually looks a lot cozier in here already. I'm surprised the difference it made. All right, so to continue bringing this wall out of the 70s, I have this wall painted to look like farmhouse barn wood, and now I want to put shiplap on this wall. So for all of $3, the cost of two Sharpies, we're gonna go ahead and do that next. I'm just gonna use a level to carry the lines that I already measured out onto this wall. Thank you, Raider. All right, it's coming along. Half of the wall is done. I just have one more half to do. This is literally so quick and easy. That's it, all finished. I really like how this simple detail adds so much character and charm to an otherwise basic wall. Next, I thought I could easily recreate these plant pots that I saw in a magazine for much less money to set on the shelves. Now to make the flower pots. I found these little plastic paint cups at Walmart for 97 cents. But instead of brown paper, like in the picture I showed you, I thought it would be neat to wrap my buckets with old book pages and burlap. So, I'm simply taping a few book pages around the buckets and then I'll just tie some burlap over that. Here's the first cup all wrapped and I found this really pretty sedum at Walmart for 97 cents. I'm gonna put that inside. Look how cute that is. Turn it a little bit. All right, so I have sedum and lavender for also for 97. I think these are so cute. So a dollar for the cup and a dollar for the stems. Um, and I had the book pages and I had the burlap and twine. So $2 a cup and I think they're so cute. I'll make four all together.
So I did go ahead and splurge on one piece for this wall. Um, like I said, I was inspired by a hanging scale that I saw on decor steels. So I ordered that and we're gonna go ahead and open it up and see how it looks. All right, this thing is so cute, look at this. So I have a plant that's gonna sit right in here in the middle of the shelves. I love this, this is adorable. This wall is looking so much more farmhouse and so much less 70s now. The hanging scale definitely ties this space in with the rest of our living room. I can't help but feel though like something is still missing. So back to Goodwill to find one more piece to bring it all together and finish off the space. So I found this mirror at Goodwill. It is not even real wood. It's plastic made to look like wood, but once there's chalk paint on it, nobody will ever know. I am going to paint this and paint over the mirror with chalk paint and make it look like a little flower market sign. So that will tie all the little um, flower pots together and I think it's just the right size for the wall. I got the mirror out and it, there's just a layer of cardboard back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the cardboard and I think once it's all painted, you won't know any different and it's gonna be a lot lighter. All right, we're gonna use Waverly's plaster to paint the outside frame. I just used a little leftover chalkboard paint to paint that black from a previous project. Here's the frame from that mirror, all white. And here's the board from behind it. I went with a dark gray for this. Started out black, but didn't like it, so I toned it down to a gray. So that'll go in here. But first, I want to mix up a wax that has some gray and work it into these details here. I didn't actually have any wax on hand, so instead I mixed the chalkboard paint with some varnish and that worked out actually better than the wax. All painted and now we're going to screw the chalkboard back into the frame and then hang it up. Always be very careful with like screws and nails and stuff. Good job putting that in there. Now I have a sweet little chalkboard that I can easily change the message in anytime I want. For now, I like the idea of writing flower market on it to bring a little spring cheer into these gray winter days that we have been having. For the finishing touch, I am just going to paint on the wall to make this look like a sign hanging off of an old building.
I really like the way the curves on the vine help to soften this otherwise very geometric wall. I also couldn't help but add three little butterflies to represent my three girls. Done. What a difference. I only spent $8 on the flower pots, $3 on Sharpies, and another $8 on the sign and paint. So other than the scale, which I did buy new, this whole transformation cost only $19. And now our entire living room feels so much warmer and more welcoming. Proof that you don't have to spend a lot to create a home that you love. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye!